time for seven first alert weather from cold clues to a hot forecast. Maybe you're feeling or yesterday you were feeling a little weary of the heat, a little tired of it. And perhaps today you were feeling a little tired of this graphic. If you caught any of my weekend forecasts, but if you missed it just in case you missed it. It was six consecutive days of triple digit temperatures that we endured here through most of the Treasure Valley, particularly the numbers you're seeing here from Boise. 102 was the high yesterday in Boise, so six days in a row. It's not a record for the longest streak of triple digit temperatures that belongs to the record of nine days, which has happened four times. And the most recent time that has happened nine days of 100 degrees plus was last year, the hottest summer on record for Boise. Now the six days Streak goes in as the third time that's happened on record in Boise. So we're making the list here in 2022. I do think we have more triple digit days to add to the tally for the overall season. But as far as long streaks, you know, maybe we could put that behind us. We will be making it to the triple digits this week. It just shouldn't hold for, you know, three, four, five, six days. Highs today, 90 degrees. Did we love this relief, albeit brief, but it was so nice this morning, this afternoon, bit of a breeze blowing through below average temperatures for the afternoon, above average temperatures to start the day. Tomorrow will be a very refreshing morning, so enjoy that. If you're not already enjoying this evening, where Stanley is 20 degrees cooler than this time 24 hours ago. So here is that low pressure center that put us more underneath a westerly flow aloft, which gave us more seasonable temperatures or even below average temperatures for the day today. Of course, there is a pressure difference here that the atmosphere is trying to compensate for, and that's where the breeze came from today. But that low pressure center, it's out of here. High pressure ridge building back in across the region, and as it does so, amplifying that southwest flow aloft. And so you probably guessed it, the heat back in the forecast for us. And it really will peak for us Wednesday into Thursday when we're we're looking for triple digit temperatures once again, then maybe taking the edge off just a touch for Friday entering into the weekend. Overall, though, it's hot through this week. It is the middle of July after all weather timeline through the overnight hours. Again, this is what I'm most excited about. Upper 50s, close to 60 degrees to start the day tomorrow, even cooler in some spots through the Treasure Valley. So a nice refreshing morning to enjoy coffee on the patio before we heat things back up for the afternoon. Even for our mountain locations, looking for mid to upper 80s in our mountain valleys, 97 for a high in Riggins, 99 in Ontario, possibly even popping up to the century mark in a couple of spots. Probably not Boise, but still above average temperatures back in the forecast for us tomorrow and through the rest of this week. So mountains forecast, if you're trying to beat the heat, I mentioned the hottest days of the week being Wednesday and Thursday. That proves true for our mountain valleys as well. And here's a look at the seven day forecast for the Boise area. Yes, looking very much like a typical summer pattern would in southern Idaho, high and dry, lots of warm sunshine and finding ways day to day to keep cool. Yeah finding all the cold water in our area. I will say the Boise River felt very good this weekend. Refra yeah, I thought it was going to be freezing. It takes until, you know, mid to end of July when you're like, oh, this is nice. Yes. What's good about this time Handle of year? this. Yes. The hottest part of the year. Yeah. Yep. All right, Necessary. thanks, Brie.